Okay, John, this is going to be a video. I'm going to show you a little tour of our, of our model. Uh, it's going to be the crane model. I made some modifications to it and made some improvements too since uh, you saw this last. And truly, I've not really touched it since uh, like last fall. So, yeah, I'm going to try to slow down a little bit and try to show you around a little bit. And you got to realize that this model isn't perfect, but uh, and there's going to be some uh, errors that are going to occur along the way. And, Definitely needs to have a little bit of a work done to it uh, if we're going to if we're going to present this somehow. So let's start from the top. So there's one element that actually helps drive this, and that is going to be reference sketches. Doesn't necessarily have to be sketches. I've been playing around with top-down design a lot, and I'm finding that actually putting in some basic blocks in here, basic uh, you know forms that actually show uh, as solid forms, virtual uh, solid forms in here actually kind of works pretty well too because you could use like midpoints of an edge or a vertice on a, on a corner or something like that in order to uh, establish more relationships to the object you're really trying to create down here in the body of your, of your feature manager. In fact, I was watching a presentation today, I think Michael Steves was doing this, where they were showing uh, using X design in a modeling contest, the old-fashioned model mania, which is now in uh, using X design, which... I don't know, I guess we got to move forward with that, but um, they're actually setting up a motorcycle with you using just basic geometry blocks and uh, sweeps and, you know, lofts and stuff like that in order to put the model together. Then you add more detail to it. So I think that's probably okay. Uh, but right now, in order to drive this model, uh, we're going to be using sketches. So let's start from the very top. Let's take a rollback bar and we'll just roll this down as we go through it. I put everything inside, all of my sketches inside of this folder in here because it kind of uh, makes uh, the feature manager uh, a little bit more compact, a little bit easier to navigate. So if you take a look at the top sketch, yep, let's fit that to the screen. Now let's double click on it so we can actually see some of the detail in here. It's got some lines in here that uh, define uh, you know, how that block, how that basic... Um, uh, base, the crane base is going to be uh, constructed and uh, it's got some clearances in here but I'll let you look at that on your own time uh, I don't necessarily have to go through all of this right now but uh, essentially what we're doing is we're starting with that top sketch going to the right sketch which goes right next to that let's go ahead and uh, make that normal too yep sorry about that one of my uh, drives just quit on me hope it doesn't crash you know, that happens before, too. I got backups of that, too. But anyways, there we go. Let's come back to life. Anyways, that's the right sketch. So, yeah, we have the top sketch and the right sketch. We use those two together to come down here to our crane base put that together. But uh, rolling down, this is where we begin to do some of our design in regard to, uh, you know, how this uh, you know, dynamic multi-body model uh, comes together. And one of those elements in here, you have to have your sketches or references up here at the very top of the tree. But the first thing that comes in place before we actually do uh, any of the design work in reference to the elements that follow this, and you'll see this in just a moment, this is going to be our arm, our arm number one. This is called a sketch handle. So it's just got some very basic geometry in, the, in here, which defines its length, its width, and its orientation and uh, we have some uh, some uh, dimensions in here which we can change later you'll see that uh, these dimensions are all driven by how we're dragging some of these elements in here of that sketch that exists into that and we can come back in, in here later and this is the beauty of all this is we can move this thing around in a very fluid manner to get an approximate design that we might like and then come back to these dimensions right click on them make them driven put a specific value in there and then go from there so that's uh, the right arm handle and we have one for the for the other, other handle in here too but then we have the right arm sketch and this is uh, the sketch that helps define how that uh, crane arm is going to look so everything's got to have references to the you know to the to the to the right handle in here. So we have no need for any dimensions in here. Although we do have this one for that hole, and then this hole over here is equal to that. So there is a desire and the need uh, to actually put in uh, some dimensions, but typically everything's going to be driven off that uh, off the handle. 
So we can actually still do some elements in here. I know it's all black. It says it's fully defined, but it, you know, it's not really fully defined. It's only fully defined to the sketch that's below that. If the sketch below that, which is going to be the handle, that's not fully defined. You know, this sketch doesn't really care about that. It's actually fully defined to the sketch that might be driving it from below. So that's kind of weird. But anyways, uh, that's that uh, handle. And we're going to go ahead and rebuild that. You can see it's new shape. Actually, it's not showing in here. We can right-click on that and actually show that if we wanted to do that. But uh, we're going to go ahead and hide that here, too, because we're actually going to be using the feature uh, to help show uh, what that sketch is actually doing in here. So we're going to go ahead and hide that. And then we do the same thing to the right handle. So the right handle's over here. You notice that we have sketch colors. This one's brown. That one's green. This one's pink over here. I try to do that so we can actually differentiate you know, the different sketches from each other. And... The feature is going to have those very same colors too. So you notice that this uh, first arm over here is going to be kind of brown, the virtual solid in here, and, uh, and the second arm over here, uh, the virtual solid of that is actually going to be green. Then we have our pin, and that's something else you can explore in your own. We're not going to talk about that a whole lot. So we're going to put together the crane base. Crane base is based on the top sketch down here, and then the right sketch. So we're using uh, the, uh, the elements in the reference geometry folder, and we're going to put that together. So we have the three uh, features asso associated with that. We have the base, we have the slot in here, where uh, initially, uh, where that first arm was going to be. But I want to make sure that when I put this together, that we did this uh, so it wasn't symmetrical to see if we could actually make it so it's not symmetrical. So, you know, this is all kind of uh, brand new to me, and I'm still playing around with it. And again, this isn't perfect. And we're going to have to work on this a little bit in order to make this a little bit more functional as we go through it. So there's our pin, and we're going to keep moving down here, and now we have our arm. So here's our arm. And basically, you've seen this before. We can take uh, these sketch elements that are visible on that handle and move those around. So we're going to stretch it. And it failed. So again, this isn't perfect, but we can go back over here and actually go back into that sketch. And maybe see what we could do about fixing this. Maybe uh, this relationship in here is not good. And we could go ahead and reestablish that. We can take that point and that line actually make that coincident. And then maybe rebuild that and see if we could do this again. So we're going to take this uh, point over here and move that. And yeah, so now it's working. So sometimes it does fail. We can make it thicker. We can make it longer, shorter, wider, change its orientation. There's a really thick one. And we can go back and modify that. And then once we do that, once we get something that we like in here, we can go back into that right handle and begin to fully define this. So we can like maybe take that uh, dimension in here, say it's going to be driven, or we're going to drive it now. We're going to give it a specific value, like maybe 120 inches. And then go ahead and rebuild this. So now what this does is it restricts our capacity to stretch that. We can make it thicker. We can change its orientation. But as we go through this, uh, we can't uh, stretch it anymore, at least not in that direction. We could stretch this one if we want to do that. If, we're, if it's going to allow us to do that, there we go. And it's going to be Mr. Skinny instead of Mr. Thick. But yeah, it isn't always uh, very friendly. Again, we can move that. There's like too many loose things happening at the same time. But that kind of shows you how that works. So there's our arm one, let's go to arm two. We could do the same thing with arm two. Arm two has less flexibility to it, but it does have the capacity to stretch and orient. And it looks like that kind of failed. So if, if, if that fails, let's go to our uh, right uh, arm two handle. Let's go ahead and change, uh, maybe we can change that in here and then rebuild that. I think it'll probably assume the new uh, direction and the new orientation. And, yeah, again, I'm not certain why that's failing, but I have found, yeah, there it goes. Maybe it depends on what point you pick. So I was picking uh, one of these end points, but maybe picking the middle point would be a better one for that. So that is a brief tour of this. As you can see, the model, it's, I mean, this is something a little bit different than uh, what I've seen. I've worked with this a little bit. I think we have the capacity to work with this a little bit more and make it a lot more functional. But the basic elements in here that help make this work are going to be reference sketches, a reference sketch folder, or objects, or bodies at the very top of our uh, feature manager. And then we have our handles. The handles actually come first. The handles come first. Sketch comes second. And then we have a sketch that actually drives the feature. That comes third. 
And then the fourth element in here is going to be the actual feature itself. So play around with this. Give me a little bit of feedback. Let me know what you think of it. And we'll go from there.